This is the TRX assisted split squat. Okay, this is a great progression to the split squat. And if you can't do a normal split squat with your full body weight, this is great because it offsets some of your body weight and gives you some support to practice the exercise perfectly. So you set up, we're actually going to start on the floor. So your ankle of your front foot is directly under your knee and your knee on the back leg is directly under your hip. So you kind of have two 90 degree angles, okay? You place your hands on the TRX, you stay up nice and tall. You should be able to lift your foot off the ground without collapsing forward, okay? That tells me you've got some base strength to hold your core and to stay upright. So you've got to grip the floor with your big toe, your little toe, and your heel. You're kind of corkscrewing the floor, okay? So really grip the floor tight, push up, stand up tall. So you must stay straight through the whole exercise. Drop slowly to the floor, pause, and back up again. Now, you don't have to touch the floor. You can stop just above the floor and come back up. And again, if you want to change it to more of a rowing motion to offset more body weight, you can. That just gives you a bit of extra help. And that is the TRX assisted split squat. There are a couple of common flaws with this exercise. So, so the most common mistakes of this exercise are the following. When people go down, the knee collapses in. So we want to keep this knee nice and straight. So the ankle, the knee, and the hip are nice and straight. You must stay tall. So no collapsing forward. We also don't want to see any wobbling or any hip shifting to the side. So the TRX helps with all of this, okay? We can go straight up and down, build that nice strength through the front of the body, and then you're set to go for a more advanced version.